Let me welcome you to the smoke box. Windows up, couple in rotation. I boxed out about three of them faces. What's cracking, yo? This is Be Real, aka Dr. Green Thumb from Be Real TV. Today in the smoke box, we got two of my homies, Demrick and Dizzy Wright. Hell, you can tell, smoking out the hotel, putting the towels down to hide your smell. I went from eating Mickey D's to eating medicated chicken wings. The more we say, you may know my man Demrick from various collaborations that we've done together and with Exhibit called Serial Killers. He's been doing work for a long time in the game and uh, getting it in. And my man Dizzy Wright out of LV, representing to the fullest in the cannabis lane and music. Uh, we're gonna jump in and talk to my homies right here. Smoke box. Welcome to another edition of the smoke box. We are right here live. Um, got Dizzy right up in here. Demrick in the Moon Stale Blazer. How you guys doing, Mike? I'm good, man. How you guys doing? I'm real good. Trying I mean, it. you know, you've you've been having, uh, you know, some some hell of a times, uh, you know, rocking different projects, you know, collaborations, yeah. and then rocking the solo shit. You know what I mean? It, like, I like how you guys keep it moving. I know Demrick, you know, for many years we've worked together, and I know, you know, he grinds and. You know, it's like a trip to see, you know, him link up with you because you guys fucking, you know, keep the momentum yeah. rolling, dog. You guys don't stop. You know, it, it, it's 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 uh, it's good to see that, man, because motherfuckers be sitting back on their hands and just coasting. But y'all y'all keep it pushing. And I like that. Absolutely. Yeah. It's all about just keeping that foot on the gas, man. Yeah. And um, staying in their faces as much as possible. Hell yeah. What's been inspiring you lately? Um, you know, I'm in a good place, man. I've been on like my vegan stuff now for about yeah. eight months. You know, so I'm taking care of myself. Nice. I feel I feel um just clean, man. I feel my energy. I got it I got control of myself. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm in control of my consciousness and I feel like I just been that's what's been leading me to pump out all the music, you know, because I just been in this good space. Like and, a burst of creativity yeah, from man. the change, yes. Yeah, big change, man. And from there, I think that um, I just wanted to give all the music a home and put it out there instead of holding on to it and waiting for, you know, the right moment when I feel so inspired to keep creating. You know what I mean? So, right. Um, I've been in a great place, bro. Hell yeah. What 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 um incited the change? Energy wise, energy wise, I think that um I got way more control um just of my body. You yeah. know um. For me, it's just I felt like there was a lot of things that I didn't know that I wasn't really aware of or some things that maybe I overlooked growing right. up. And um, now that I became aware of them, I feel like, you know, uh, putting the right the right shit in my body right. and, and just focusing more on being connected to the right things. It just helped me give me the right energy, give me the right spirit. And not only that, like... I don't deal with the itis shit. I right. don't deal with, I don't let yeah, food Yeah, because some shit makes you tired when yeah, you eat the combination. You know you need that little nap or right. something, you know, when you, when you, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you eat that you, good meal, need that you, little nap. And you can't have that because you got high energy shows, you know, because you got like a dope live show. Demrick, you know, same thing. Y'all y'all be flipping the stage. How does it feel to flip together? Oh yeah, that's the best. Yeah, it's been it's definitely been a cool experience to be able to just even see the fans' reaction of all the music that got put out, all the different projects from the Blaze with us to the one week notice to the different tours that we've been on and seeing like last night at the El Rey, just that energy right there. It's like I was saying, it was crazy because I remember walking through dizzy crowds, and even after I rocked the set, and not that many people knew who I was on these shows and now it's like you can't even move around everybody knows what's going on they waiting for roll my weed they waiting for different records that we play and they just go crazy for them and it's a, it's dope you know he's always your fans always been just really loyal to dizzy you know and to that energy that he's putting out there and so people come there with a good vibe and a good attitude and you know we just turn it up that's it no like both of you guys are, are like I know both of you guys for this. You guys knock out songs quickly. Like the creativity just flows like water out of you guys. I mean, you knocked out 
three albums in six months. That's crazy. Yeah, man. That's good. Work it. I like that. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you know that that's that that shows like the work ethic and and how much love you got for doing the shit, man. And and, and you know, for me, I'm from the nature of the the more you do it, the better you get at it. And I could hear it each time I hear a, a song from either one of you, whether it's together or or solo. Word. You know what I mean? You, lot, you, you yeah. love working, right? Yeah, I do, man. Um, I do. I find peace with music, man. Like, you know, I didn't jump. I didn't really jump into the music stuff, like writing music and recording music to get rich. So some people just. Instantly, they're just like, I'm gonna do this rap shit, I'm gonna make some slide, I'm gonna get rich, right? You know, um, which is there's a lot of that in the game right now. That's a lot of that, yeah. and you know, I want brothers to get their money for sure, but um, you know, to be passionate about something that brings you peace, um, allows you to see things a little differently than them, you know what I mean? Yeah, and and I and I could see you're on a different different flip now too because i mean you know what a lot of people don't know because they haven't heard it yet it, you know dizzy did a song with us on the cypress hill album that's coming out called back in black and uh, just the flip that you put on that rhyme like it was very conscious and like talking to to your base Ta i mean you know talking to fans like hey this is what it is right now yeah you know and it, and uh it came out really tight you know yeah, I'm mean? excited gotta, to hear, hear it. Yeah, I'm excited. It out, it, but it, it, you could see that, like, you know, it's, it's for you. It ain't about like the glitz and the glamour and the money. It's, it's about the art and what you're saying. Absolutely. So I mean, I grew up whole without money. You know what I mean? Right. So I really just want to be able to live a good life and take care of my kids and, you know, do different business ventures with the people that I trust around me, and I'll be cool. You right. know, I don't need all the extra shit unless, you know, it, it falls in my lap. But other than that, you know, I'm just trying to be happy. Find that personal happiness, man, and be cool. Smoke this good-ass weed. That's what's up. And, you know, <laughs> For man. real, though, you know? <laughs> oh, everything. Word up, man. Now, are, are you guys uh, planning on uh, another album together? EP, anything? Oh, we gonna give them the blaze with us, too. Gotta do it. We gonna do it. We might... We just want to give them a nice amount of time. Like, my biggest thing, man, is, like, I was a fan of Dimrick, and I was a fan of his energy. Yeah. Like, his, it's crazy when you meet an artist, um, and this is probably what has worked for me very well um, in my career, is when you meet an artist um, and you fuck with their music, you a fan of their music, and then you meet them and you a fan of their energy. They, you click. There's it's just chemistry. like, yo, whoa. His energy matches his music. That's what I kind of expected, only it was a little better. Damn, that's fire. That's kind of how it was with Dimmick. Like, I was like, damn, I like this dude's the spirit. Get the it spirit, in. Yeah. I need to get his spirit. You get what I'm saying? But it was very organic. Player. Yeah. It was very player. It wasn't like no annoying little kid. You know, it was right. just like, yo, I've been doing this for a while. You know, I'm humbled. To, I've learned a lot of, from the OGs. You know, it made a lot of sense when he told me the background of even how he became the nigga that he is. So for me, it was really about just wanting more people to see Dimrick in his light. You get right. what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. And it's been really cool to see him just get out here and just get out here. And you know what's cool is, is the combination between you two works. Like, y'all play well, off each other really well, and um, I think a lot of motherfuckers are gonna be, you know, hype when... Uh, when y'all put that next one together. It's crazy because the first one, we put the first one together just simply being on tour yeah. and just hitting different studios and like... Which works. It works. It works. Yeah. It technically wasn't a plan though. Yeah. Like we didn't plan that. Like I was just, it was just working bro. I was just like, damn, he got the same amount of passion. He up, he, we drinking, we smoking, four o'clock in the morning getting it done. See, that's when it works like that though. You know what I mean? When it's, you know, it's not... Okay, we got a studio schedule. We got to go and we got to put in this fucking work. Right. You guys are on the road and you don't know when you're going to be able to get to the studio. But when you can and everybody's on the same page and excited about it, something magical fucking happens. Something magical happens. And, and uh, you know, y'all caught that and you could tell. And, you know, 
I look forward to hearing the next shit. I gotta you tell gonna you. Gonna be on it, man. You I'm gonna be on it with you. You know what I'm saying? Gotta be on every month. Legendary Stoner, man. Get it, man. Word up. For real. Hey, now listen. I gotta tell you this, just because I cannot forget this shit. Ever since you made the smoke box joint, yeah. you know, people ask, hey, you know, like, cause when we we post up the trailers and shit like that for the smoke box, yeah. and they're like, man, what song is that? Who did that song? Well, and we used to tag it all the time, like, yo, it's Dizzy Wright, it's, it's the smoke box. Yeah. I gotta say, man, it is like the perfect intro for this fucking show, man, and I, I wanna it. thank you for that, you know? And I don't know if I thanked you last time, but, I had to thank you again because it's one of the coldest intros thank you, man. you know out there, man. It's cold because, man, I was thinking about you and this and this this energy in here, man. And I wanted to make sure y'all had that. I didn't know y'all was going. I didn't know y'all was going to like it like that, man. Nah, I was man, really like, man, I hope he liked this shit. Man, love it. But that's, I always see it, man. I always love it, man. It's just. You know what's crazy? That's really dope. Is for months we kept on thinking like, you know, we need some sort of intro. And I would never do it because I was like, ah, no, I ain't going to do it. Fuck that shit. And I didn't know what to do for it. Right. I didn't think to do what you did, you know. You did some cold shit on it, dog. I got to say, man. I was like, oh. Okay, I guess we got an intro. First time when you send it to me, I can. I think you send it to me, or or maybe Demrick. One of you guys send it to me. I was like, oh shit, I think we got an intro for this bitch right here. And ever since, every time we put a trailer out, motherfuckers be like, yo, what? Who did that? Who is that? And now you know it's Dizzy Wright and this motherfucker who made that shit. Yes, sir. Every time. What you been smoking on lately? I've been smoking a lot of Dizzy OG, man. Dizzy OG. On front, man. Still got a lot of it in rotation. Hell yeah. But, um, you know, I've been smoking a lot of gelato. Gelato's nice. Um, nice flavor on that shit. Yeah, absolutely. What else I've been smoking? So um, the cannabis game's been treating you well with the Dizzy, Dizzy Ride OG and all that? Absolutely, man. Absolutely. It's cool because, um, you know, like... A lot of people are trying to be a part of the marijuana wave now, and now that it's legal, you got people that's... There's a bandwagon. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. like, you know, and you know how it is. So it's cool to really see this shit, but it's cool to really see this shit get to all the way to this point where the the, the debate is happening. Right. You get what I mean? Because I just feel like I remember when, you know, it was just a few rappers out there in the scene really... Yeah. Now it's the thing. The, yeah, now it's the thing. And now, and now rappers are just kind of coming in and, and piggybacking off of, like, yeah. the rappers who was really out there at the weed communities, really fucking with the stoners, really smoking with them, really getting them high. And, you know, the weed community, that's really a part of the weed community, know who them rappers was. Yeah, for so, real. The real ones know. So they always rocking with us. So, yeah, man. <laughs> Did you take the dabs? Do you guys like dabs? Yeah, I remember when dabs first got introduced too to the scene. Oh, like yeah. I was like, hell no, nah, I ain't fucking with that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, nigga, that what's that? A torch? I ain't fucking with no and torch. And then we did a song. <laughs> yeah, and then we did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you could move. <laughs> yeah. And then we did a song. And then nigga DJ Hopper, man. man. <laughs> DJ Hopper the one, man, that got me on the dabs, man. And after that. Be real got me on the song, and then I've been officially a dabber since. That's right. Yeah. Wax took a, out. Took a fucking dab this morning. Word up, man. So you guys got any shows coming up in the future, near future? Well, I'm on tour right now, so I'm on the Golden State of Mind tour. It started right. yesterday, uh, two days ago in oh, San shit. Diego. Okay. Where, yeah. where you where are you guys going through? Um, so we we just doing the U.S. Um, pretty much here through the Midwest to the East Coast, and um. You know, we're going to hit a little bit of the south and back down. But, um, yeah, we just hitting a quick little lap, man. 28 shows. Damn. And, that's going to um, be good. It's dope, man, to get back out here. we just celebrating these three albums dropped in six months. Uh, shit, I think Demrick said he's going to jump on the tour yeah, uh, in, out there, uh, in New York. I'll hop on the New York day. Oh, right shit. There. That's what's up, man. I know motherfuckers are going to be looking forward to that. Yeah. Hey, I want to thank you for jumping into the box once again, both of y'all. Thank you, man. You know what I'm saying? It's all love. Let, let them know where, where they can find you at. A lot, of they, a lot of them know, but, you know, just for the motherfuckers oh, who yeah. might not. No doubt. Peace, family. It's your wallet, Dizzy Wright. At Dizzy Wright, everything, except Instagram, Dizzy Hippie. 
Hippy with a Y. Holla at me, man. I'm always posting. I'm always online. I fuck with the fans. We family. Get at me. That's what's up. Been another smoke box. Subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments. Like us. All that. All that. Peace the fuck out. Let me welcome you to the smoke box. Windows up, couple in rotation. I boxed out about three or four faces. Got the heart of a light. Soul of a tight. Mind of a genius. Fly with the height. All your senses are senseless. Resistant, relentless. It's what they call you when your grind is endless. Let's get this. They say I'm psycho. I move weight like lipo. Got a big crib like Michael. Out the window with a rifle. My wrist game on light show. I'm backstage with white hoes. I got